Webster. He's in the starting lineup, the 6'4 senior. And we're ready to go. Webster's Floresca bats it forward. Viani ends up with the basketball. And they'll go left to right on your computer screen. Here's a jumper from 15 feet away. No good. And the rebound belongs to Webster. Harris quickly up to Hilton along the right wing. Hilton into the box. Floresca turns, looks. We'll kind of set this lineup for you here on the early going. Craig penetrates back to Harris. And Bradford resets. Just underway, Webster in white, trimmed in orange, and the Golden Griffins in black, trimmed in yellow. Reverse layup, no good, Hilton. And the rebound belongs to Thomas. Knocked out of bounds, and Webster gets it right back. Yeah, right off the bat, Nick Thomas gets the rebound, but we talk about his uh, ball handling at the point. Kind of lost control as he turned and saw two white jerseys, and it rolls off of his leg and out of bounds. That's Kevin Paulus. I'm Harry Schrader. We're glad we're with you. It was a long jumper by Craig. No good. At the Coaches versus Clant Cancer Holiday Classic. And they shot and I apparently the ball went out of bounds. The yeah, Floresca got the rebound but had his foot out of bounds when he made contact. You can see the full court pressure by the statesman. Jay Blossom has built everything he builds in Webster on defense. Driving, penetrating, and kicking. Stolen away by Hilton. Three on one, he has to slow down and gather the basketball and hands it off for Craig. Yeah, lost his dribble there for a second, so wisely, instead of continuing down the floor, just slowed it up, found a guard. Bradford in traffic to Hilton at the elbow. This is Harris, and now into the corner, Craig, far corner, the other corner for Bradford. Jumper good, first basket of the day is a three-pointer by Leland Bradford. Yeah, that's a nice stroke by the uh, by the junior, averaging about eight points a game, and uh, finally get some points on the board about a minute and a half in. Just his second triple of the season. Into the front court, and a foul. Alex Floresca guarding Nick Miller too tightly. Floresca gets the foul, 6-21 here early on in the basketball game. First of two games we'll have for you tonight on the Prep Sports Showcase. Both of the semifinals from here at the Coaches versus Cancer Holiday Classic tomorrow night. Third place in championship games right back here. Jumper on the way is off the rim, no good. Bradford tips it out for Hilton. He loses the handle and regains it. Yeah, Hilton trying to play a little bit too fast right now on that fast break. Cam wants the three. Nope, doesn't take it. Now down to the post of Floresca. Spins, jump stop, he traveled, and he got caught. Tell you what, though, that it, that will be the key matchup of the night. Floresca, a, a good size advantage, and, and let's be honest, maybe a little bit of a, a talent advantage as well. He's going to have to he's going to have to pound it down low, and we've seen that a couple of times here in the early moments. Thomas into a double team baseball pass. Now down into the post, a foul and a missed jumper by Miller, and he'll go to the free throw line to shoot a couple. Good ball movement by the Griffins. It's understandable, but Viani playing just a little bit more tentative offensively. You know, you would have liked to have seen him go strong to the basket instead of letting Craig alter that shot. This is Miller. Good shot of him there. The 6'6 senior. And he makes the free throw. First points of the night for the Golden Griffins. They trail it 3-1. Miller, a 6'6 senior, he's averaging 5.9 points a game. Just a 54% free throw shooter, and he gets them both. So a bonus for Kevin Walsh's team. Kevin Walsh sporting the outstanding jacket today. Oh, that pink coat is seriously good looking. Harris puts it on the deck. Up and under move, floats it. Back rim, no. Floresco with the offensive wow. rebound, and they Gonna caught him for, for the foul. Push. And Kevin, two quick fouls. Yeah, two and a half minutes into the game, Floresca's got two, and he's going to come out as Chris Gordon is going to go get him. So Floresca may be sitting for the remaining the remainder 5.30 of this opening quarter. Well, the first one was ill-advised way out by the half line right. on the defensive side, and then down here again. So two really unforced fouls shouldn't have committed, and they're in trouble with him on the bench. Jumper on the way, just inside the arc, missed it. Rebounding foul, gonna come against Viani. I think it's going to be Miller. And it is Nick Miller with the foul. You mentioned Webster Groves in, in trouble with Floresca on the bench. They're so deep, I'm not even sure. I mean, there will be some fall off, obviously, but they, they will play nine, 10, sometimes 11 players a night. We see our first look at the freshman. For Viani, their leading scorer, Cartier Gordon. Yeah, no. 
Obviously, it's very strange. We'll talk about it in a minute. He is guarding Garden, his, brother. his big brother, Chris, who plays for Webster. And they're battling down in the paint right now. Just like they do on the driveway. Hilton for three. Back rim, no. And Cartier, Gordon with the rebound. His brother was in his grill, but he pulled it away. Still is. The freshman Stop travels, however. And there may be a little trash talking between those two tonight. What do you think? Yeah, little brother is actually a little bit taller oh, than, uh, than big brother. Bigger. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a couple inches and it's probably 30 pounds on The him. scorebook says 6'5", six, 6'7", six, uh, for Chris, and 6'7", for Cartier. I don't know which one's lying, but <laughs> Cartier's a lot bigger. <laughs> Radford puts it on the deck. Pull-up jumper from the elbow. Missed it long. Rebound, Cartier, Gordon. Almost travel again. Quickly into the front court. It's Baker driving, stopping, and rolling it home from about eight feet away. Yanni with their first lead, three and a half minutes in. Harris to the trailing Craig now to Hilton on the right wing. Harris, good hesitation move to Hilton straight away. Craig left wing Bradford. Man-to-man -man Viani defense. Driving, in trouble, and Thomas with the steal. Ooh, Bradford got away with a bump. Yes, he did. Need Thomas is in trouble and gets it ahead. It almost an over and back. To Coletta. Addition to the open oh, wing. Look. Wide open for three. Back rim. Both teams tight. Shooting it. Rebound pulled down by Craig. They're going to call a jump. That's good officiating there. Craig and Cartier Gordon were tied up. Going out for the first time will be Eric Cruz checking in. Jordan Hardwick, halfway through, senior. Halfway through the first quarter, it's it's four to three right now. And obviously, you know, this scoring total, you would figure, favors Viani. They won their quarterfinal 40 to 35. <laughs> so if they can keep it low scoring, uh, good luck with that. But if they can keep it low scoring against Webster tonight, that obviously works to their advantage. Bradford on the left wing. Down in the post to Chris Gordon. Turns, faces his brother, passes it off to Harris on the wing. Nice. Spin move, finger roll, no, but a foul. And Harris will go to the free throw line. That was a big time move right there. Nick Coletta is going to pick up his first foul of the night. Harris goes to the free throw line. The 6'4 senior, he's a 70% free throw shooter. Kevin mentioned he's averaging 10.9, a little bit under what he averaged a year ago. Free throw Harris. Good. And Harris is on the scoreboard. I believe I called him Nick. It's actually Zach Coletta. Checking that's in. My, that's my one and only mistake of the night, though. never make another one. Courtney Ramey checks in, 6'2 freshman guard. Boy, they expect a lot out of him. Kevin, in the two games here, he's had five points, three re rebounds, two assists in the first game, eight, four, and two in the second game. And their highly touted freshman is averaging five points, three boards, and almost two assists. And Harris got them both. And Webster's back in front, five to four. Coletta quickly into the front court by the defender. Thomas into the post. They double team Gordon, and he gets fouled. He got fouled. No, I was going to say got fouled by his brother, but he didn't. I think it's on Craig. And if I'm Called right, it on it's Harris. his second. Called it on Harris, 23. Oh, that's good for Webster. Cartier, Gordon in the left corner. And the pass deflected by Chris Gordon. He's very active, very athletic, Chris Gordon. We also saw Cam Potts come into the game on that last uh, whistle as well. And I tell you what, we have, obviously we've done a lot of their games last year. He looks a lot bigger than he did last year. He did a lot of growing this year. Thomas picks up his dribble, bounces it right side, deflected out of bounds, and it's going to go to Webster. Good defense by Potts, as Kevin just mentioned, the six-foot sophomore guard. He doesn't mean a lot taller. He looks more he's, athletic. He's well, he's a little bit taller, too, but he's also bulkier as well. Put on some. He got the weight room, you can tell. Craig for three. Off the rim. Ramey keeps it alive, but it goes out of bounds. Going to belong to Viani. Good athletic move by Courtney Ramey. Can't imagine either coach is happy with their offensive output so far. <laughs> Five to four, three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Not a lot of good-looking shots. No. you got to chalk up something to that about the defense. And here's a steal by Ramey. Courtney Ramey drives into three. Griffin stops, hesitates, floats wow. and knocks it home. Good body control there. Baker hands it off for Coletta. He's picked up by Harris. Two and a half to go. Skip it to the left corner. Thomas on the left 
baseline. Far corner, straight away. Good ball movement by Viani, and now a deflection. Keep it moving, They get it back out for Hardwick with 2.20 to go. Here in the opening quarter, 7-4 Webster Groves. Coletta drives in traffic, hands it off for Thomas. Thomas, near corner, spinning along the baseline. Ooh, he got away from the foul. Loose ball, and it's inbounded to Gordon, and he got fouled by his little brother that time on the reach-in. I'm telling you, Webster is like rabid dogs. I mean, they their are. hands are on everything, and you're right. The foul was on Cartier Gordon. And you can hear the... the I, had, I had to turn the mic talking, to, talking to Cartier, <laughs> that whole offensive set that he was in the wrong place. Well, Sometimes they're, they're telling him, get low. The offense, yeah, yeah. Get low, get low is what they kept telling him. He was in the wrong spot. Miller replaces him, and Ramey is into the front court. Left wing Harris. Quiet first quarter for him. Ramey for a long three air ball. Saved by Hilton and saved by Craig, but it goes to Kevin Walsh. Viviani head coach. It's Cam Potts, not Craig, that was saving it the second time. Webster's wanting to press in the backcourt, put some pressure on the ball handlers. Thomas on the right-handed dribble. He's a lefty. Dribbles all the way up the right side. Gets bumped, gets bumped. Backdoor cut, gets it to Miller. Left side, dribble drive, eight footer, good, nicely done, Danny Baker. Yeah, good head fake to, to kind of freeze the defender and then he just laid it up and in. One point game. It's been tight all the way. Hilton wide open for three. Banked ah. it in. Cam Hilton banked it in. Gotta call that. Second three pointer of the year for Hilton and they lead it by four, 10 to six. Easy. Oh, and Thomas pushed off and they caught him. With the left arm, he extended it and shoved the defender away. I believe that's number two on him already, and uh, that is their main point guard. Nope, just one. And four fouls for both teams. Stu Hollinsworth will check in, and Chris Gordon goes out. You mentioned earlier, what eight, nine, ten, eleven guys to play. We watched them the other night. I watched them the other night, and, and he was, uh, Jay Blossom was routinely just sending in five new guys. Donovan Daniels has checked in as well. Potts for three on the left wing, and that one's too short. Ricochets to the far side. Good rebound, and the pass deflected out of bounds. That's going to, whoa. Oh, I thought it was deflected. I guess not. It's and so did, so did Thomas. He thought it was deflected as well. Thomas he is going to come have a seat. Interesting to see Cruz. who runs the point now for them. Cruz has checked back in. We've seen Coletta handle it quite a bit in this first quarter. I would think it would fall to him, but I don't know. Daniels into the front court, left wing Ramey. Zone defense now for Viani, 2-1-2. Potts on the right wing. Daniels, Ramey for three from the left side, and that pinball's out. Good strong rebound by Nick Miller. Ramey is not afraid to put the ball up, that's for sure. Down low, waits, pauses, lays nice. it in. Nicely done by Eric Cruz. Again, that head fake. They're showing great patience, are the Griffins, down low with the basketball. Two-point Webster lead against that 2-1-2 zone. And now with 15 seconds to go, Jay Blossom gets their attention. They're going to hold for the final shot. Now they'll go with eight. This is Daniels running the point. Between the circles for Ramey. Uses a pick, near corner. Potts for three at the buzzer. Rim no. 10 to eight is your first quarter score. Let's talk about Doug Rupp. <laughs> first quarter's in the books. 10 to eight is your score. And uh, both teams struggling to find the bottom of the rim. Somebody that will help you with your kind of insurance struggles is a good friend of mine, Doug Rupp. He's a State Farm insurance agent here in the St. Louis area. 894-6000 is his phone number. Or you can just go to DougRuppStateFarm.com. I bet that's his website. I've got it written down somewhere. But Doug is a terrific guy. He will meet your needs. Listen, he is my State Farm rep. And, and uh, whenever there's an issue, he calls me the other day. He says, hey, you know, your son's away at school. This, this, and this are going on. You ought to adjust that and that. He's thinking proactively for me. For your auto, home, uh, life insurance policies, all those kinds of things you want to give Doug Rupp State Farm a call. 894-6000, proud sponsor of the Prep Sports Showcase and the Coaches vs. Cancer Holiday Tournament. Absolutely. Great crowd here tonight, Harry. And, uh, you know, we may even get even more people as 
as the uh, second semifinal gets underway here. It's a, we are really close to standing room only, and we're about to enter the second quarter of the first semifinal. So outstanding crowds pretty much throughout the tournament. You know, obviously some of those uh, day sessions or whatever. A great crowd coming in. Vianney won the opening tip, and they get the opening possession of the second quarter. Crossover dribble, nicely done, Coletta. Hello! They skip it outside for Hardwick. Back on the wing. Coletta showed some good things here, and as I say that, they strip it away from yep. Hilton. Drives, two on two. Leaner, oh, good yeah. by Hilton, and a foul. He got up in the air and seemed to just suspend there for a moment. Yeah, you mentioned going to Mizzou on a football scholarship, probably going to play defensive back there, but he is just hes just an athlete. That's, that's the one word that you can use to describe him. He's very talented on the basketball court, can elevate, can shoot it well, and uh, basketball is not even his best sport. Second foul on Coletta, and the free throw by Hilton is good. Six points for Hilton. He leads all scorers here in the early going. 13-8. Webster, biggest lead of the day for either team is this current five-point margin. Driving left baseline jumper. No good. Offensive rebound is blocked, but a foul. Cartier Gordon with the offensive stick back attempt. Fouled by older, shorter brother Chris Gordon. I say it's another, it's another Gordon on Gordon crime right there, man. They're uh, fouling each other. I think uh, Cartier has one on his brother, and, and Chris has two against his younger brother. And Cartier missed it. He is just a 39% free not, throw not shooter. Not good. Working on that uh, free throw shooting as a freshman, that's for sure. Where's number 20? Big guy, 6'7". They have him at 6'7", Miller at 6'6". Six, six. They also have Cruz at 6'6". Six, six. He missed both free throws. So they can get big. It may or may not be their best lineup when they get big. I haven't seen enough of them to know, but they don't normally play all three of those guys at the same time. Hilton puts it on the deck, drives right side, floats it up the glass. No, Cartier Gordon with the rebound. And this is what he does sometimes. He'll get the rebound, try to take yeah, off, and, he and does. turn it over. And sometimes he needs to just slow it. He's going to try to go coast to coast. And yeah. a jump. Great jump defense. Yeah. Stephen Harris just jumped in there and yeah. grabbed on. Yeah, he, do, he does that a little bit too often. And as you can tell, uh, Kevin Walsh's face to our to our right, your left, uh, you know, he wasn't – he's not going to tell him not to, but he's oh. not exactly happy about his freshman trying to go coast no, to coast. you got to tell him not to. Yeah. <laughs> give up the basketball. Big fella, give it up. Go get on the block. Exactly. Get some position down low and let the guards do the work. Gianni back to a man-to-man -man now. Harris got up in the air and flipped it to Hilton and a whistle and a foul. And they're going to call a double foul. Chris Gordon and Cartier Gordon are both... Yeah, they're going to call both the brothers, and it's going to be the second foul on both of them. They're going to foul each other out of this game here pretty soon. <laughs> we said there might be some trash talking, and they, they've committed four fouls, and they've all been against each other. I wonder how mom and dad <laughs> feel about that. I wonder they have the split jerseys here somewhere. <laughs> Craig for Hilton. Straightaway triple. How about that? Cam wow. Hilton has a pair of free balls in this game. Nine points in the contest and they lead it 16 to 8. Yeah, nine of their 16 points. Well, pass that's stolen pass. by Hilton. He'll drive into the defender. Ah. Misses the finger roll. Rebound and a foul. Good rebound by Baker in traffic. And he got fouled Bradford by on the reach in. Leland Bradford. Hilton just a little bit too much momentum going to the hole that time. Wasn't able to slow it down and lay it softly off the glass. Gordon will check out. Stu Hollinsworth comes back into the game. Hollinsworth, a 6'4 senior. Uh, Webster not overly big. The one big they have at 6'8 is Floresca, and he has sat most of this game with two fouls. Yeah, he had two fouls about two and a half minutes in, and we haven't seen him since. Webster over the limit, and so Baker will shoot the one and one, a 63% free throw shooter. He averaged 13.4 a year ago, averaging 10 points a game in the early season for Kevin Walsh, and he misses the free throw. Offensive rebound, Hardwick puts it up and missed it. Off another offensive rebound, and the reverse layup is good by Nick Miller. Nick Miller's got four now as they inch back within six. Harris airmails one over the top and pulling it away is Baker. They double team him in the backcourt and it's going to be stolen by Harris. 
Wants to drive. Dishes to a driving. Bradford tries to pass it off. It's deflected and stolen away by Hardwick. Webster is very active defensively and a too aggressive offensively. Oh, look at that. Nice kiss off the glass there by Cruz. Cruz has four. They lead. They trail now by four. Bradford will set the offense to Craig. Skip it, right corner. Harris wide open for three, mm. and a back room no good. They can't find the bottom. And a foul down away from the plate. Going to go gonna against Webster. Hollinsworth. <laughs> Stu Hollinsworth will pick up the foul. There's been a lot of battling in the green paint here at Merrimack Community College. Both teams in the bonus now. Eight fouls on one side, six on the other. Miller, 54% free throw shooter, averaging 5.9 this year after a 3.1 average last year as a junior. Mm, tough he rims. It. Yep. Ramey with the rebound for Webster. Could have head manned it, didn't. Drives all the way to the free throw line, and another whistle and another foul down low. This one's going to go against the black and gold. Nick Miller. And it's clear that the officials are paying attention to the battling underneath the rack. Yeah, they certainly are. And uh, I didn't catch the number of the player that went down, but Nick Miller put someone on the floor. And we have a meeting at the table here. Not sure why. Lewis Reigns will check in for the first time for Vianney, 6'3", junior. And Hollinsworth will go to the free throw line. What the officials are talking about. Kevin's trying to eavesdrop over there. We'll get a report from Kevin in just a minute. I think they're uh, having an issue with the number of fouls. Uh, they're, they're trying to make sure that when that double foul, they put it on both sides and all that stuff. So I've got seven fouls for Viani and two, three, four, five. Seven. Right. And I think they're off by one. Yeah, it should be eight for Webster and seven for Viani. See Kevin Walsh and Jay Blossom both uh, in on this conversation, and they're you know, they're going to check with each team's scores as well to see what we can. Should be eight and seven, right? Yep. I'm checking with a score for Viani down just down to my right. So yeah, I have, I have eight that also out. for Webster. I'm way off on Viani's, but I do definitely have eight fouls against. Don't forget after this one, and this one is a long way from being over, Springfield Kickapoo, the number one team in the state, takes on Hazelwood Central. That should be a blast of a basketball it's, game. That's going to be a fun one. You've been here, Kevin, more than I. I. I watched a little bit of Hazelwood Central the other night. Haven't seen Kickapoo just yet. We've seen a lot of Hazelwood Central over the years, and Xavier Sneed is a mm -hmm. terrific player. And, and it's uh, <laughs> Steve Holloway is a really terrific guard for them as well. And, uh, and boy, this kick Team. About their eighth or ninth man on their roster has Division Two, Division Three offers. Absolutely. I mean, they go deep. Yeah, they are. There's, they are definitely athletic. They're long. They're, they're, they're quick. They can handle the basketball. Uh, they're going to have their hands full tonight, though, because I, it has been a long time since I've come away from a, uh, from a basketball game such as last night, as impressed as I was with Kickapoo. Uh, they have officially put the scoreboard up to what we could have told them a long time ago. <laughs> Kevin Walsh and, and Jay Block. Awesome, having a good time, and Kevin Walsh says that double zero, he's got five. He can't come back <laughs> in, you know. <laughs> Talking about Alex Floresco, who's actually been on the bench for all of this second quarter, picked up two quick ones in the first. They managed to ice Stu Hollinsworth out of all that. He clanks the free throw. And Thomas into the front court. Here comes the double team, and a great dish down low, and the layup is good by Lewis Reigns. Thomas with great recognition. Kevin Butler into the game for the first time, and he hands it off. There is Butler. Where's 25? Picked up by Thomas. Blossom going small. Four guards in the game with Hollinsworth. I guess you could say Hilton's a forward, but he handles it like a guard. Ramey. And now this is Hilton. He penetrates and missed it. And he's going to get fouled by Eric Cruz, and that's number one on him. So Hilton will go to the free throw line. Cam, we've been talking about his athleticism. Boy, can he defend a 63% free throw shooter. And his free throw is away and good. He has 10 points here in the first half. 10 of their 17, and uh, 
averages just nine points a game, so already over his season average, 12 minutes in, not even 12 minutes in. We said he was good at football, made the All-Metro team for this post-dispatch again this year as a defensive back for that Webster Groves football team, and he made both free throws. And he has 11 first-half points. They can't stop Cam. Into the front court. Oh, carry. he might have got away with a carry, and instead That's a pass foul. and a foul. Range will get the foul. I tell you, they keep dribbling into double teams, and then when they try to get rid of it, those Webster uh, defenders are looking for the most likely place the ball's going to go, and they get in the yeah, passing they're, they're lane. They're good at kind of reading the uh, the slight bit of panic on the part of Vianney as they get themselves up in the air looking for a spot to get rid of the ball. Hollinsworth back to the free throw line. Missed one earlier. Four of nine on the season is Stu Hollinsworth. And he's 4 of 10. Good rebound by Jordan Hardwick. He's done a nice job on the boards. Up the left side, ooh, travels, ooh, then he ooh, elbows ooh. Butler, finds the open man for the layup. Wow. There were all kinds of wrong things that happened right there. There were fouls, there were elbows. There's Baker was no the whistles, beneficiary, though. made the layup, and it's 18-16. Had everything but a whistle on that play. <laughs> Craig, 15-footer, back rim, and it hits yeah. the standard up above and falls in. He should get one for that. Nah. He's, you know what? Sam Craig just hasn't found his stroke yet this year. I mean, we're used to him just that silky smooth three-point shot from the outside, and he just can't can't find it yet. Listen, when he was a sophomore, they expected unbelievable things from him, and he had a pretty decent sophomore year. Junior year was pretty good a year ago, and but he has really struggled offensively so far. This is range. Lobs it down That's low. That's a mismatch. Dish it on the wing. Thomas was open, didn't take it. Hardwick will. Bang. Oh, he hit the three. A big triple for lead, Jordan Hardwick. Lead back to Vianney, 19-18 now. With 340 left to go in the half. Ramey penetrates, floats it up, missed it, got his oh, own got rebound, oh, oh. teardrop, won't go either. Hardwick with another rebound. Young man's playing a good game. That drives the coach crazy. Coletta will drive into traffic and get fouled. Credit and Vianney is aggressive now like they weren't earlier. Exactly. Kevin. They are a lot less tentative than they were. They're really taking the game to Webster right now and starting to probably feel a little bit more confidence in this game. They they may be outmatched athletic, you know, athletically, but uh, really doing a great job tonight, keeping themselves around, playing under control. Big foul went on Chris Gordon, his third, and so Floresca with two and Gordon with three out of their post players. Harris checks in. So does Daniels. And you talked about Webster going small. They're going to be small for a while because of fouls. They trail by two now as Cruz made the free throw. And he makes the second. Cruz has six. He and Baker lead the Golden Griffins, and they lead the game by three, 21-18. That is their biggest lead. Back to a zone for Viani. Craig wants the long three, and it's an air ball short. Saved by Harris. No, he stepped on the baseline trying to jump out there and save it. Full court pressure about to be applied by Webster Gross. Hardwick, long oh, touchdown boy. pass, maybe. Yep, Coletta couldn't score. Now gathers now himself will. and gets fouled. Great pass by Hardwick. It was one of those no, 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 yes type passes. It looked like uh, he was ill-advised, and then he just dropped it right over the defender. Cam Potts gets the foul. Cruz will go back to the free throw line. Andy Bennett will get ready to check in for Webster. First time today, and the free throw is good. By Cruz, and Viani is making hay with the big guys on the bench for Webster. Bennett, a little bit bigger guy, 6'4", junior wing. He had eight points in their opener and didn't score in the quarterfinals. And those were all eight of his points for the season as Cruz makes another. 23-18, five-point Viani lead with three minutes to go in the half. Potts. Right side, Bennett. Spreading out that 2-3 zone, or 2-1-2. Two, two. Penetrating his Potts floater. No, he traveled. That's and the ball call. will go over to Vianney. That's a good call. Tiny Bradford back in. Potts will go out. Tiny's bigger than Potts. 
keep using it till it sticks, Harry. Bro, I'm tiny you, Bradford. That's tiny Bradford. It's not as tiny as it used to be. No, that's true. He's gotten bigger. Cruise into the front court. Here comes the double team. Oh. Stolen. Bennett will take a couple dribbles and miss the line. Oh. Rainey pulls down the rebound in traffic and got fouled. Oh, they're going to call a jump. Call a jump, and it goes to Viani on alternating possession. Good hard work by Rainey to at least get the tie up, but he was unhappy. Thought he had the rebound, and Bennett just a little over anxious. The guy comes off the bench. I've seen that a couple of times, yeah. just going in with a little bit too much momentum. He didn't want to get caught from behind and instead forgot to kind of get under control before laying it up. You see that a lot with bench players, though. They're not used to performing. Oh, nice Here's range with the layup. And again, Hardwick with a bullet point pass. Seven point Vianney Lee. Bennett, right corner for Ramey. Right block is Harris, and he stepped on the baseline, I think. It's a seven point lead for Vianney. How did this happen? They just, <laughs> just they've just been drawn away here. And Jay Blossom time wants out. a timeout. He wants to talk it over with his guys. I tell you what they've done is they've continued to play really good defense. Yes. But but they have been able to get themselves under control and attack the Webster pressure instead of wilting under it. Yeah, they've they've really found their legs a little bit here. They were, you know, obviously taking a little bit of back in the early going, but they've really adjusted well and you know they're they're finding the right speed right now. And uh, Webster is just having trouble putting the ball in the basket right now. 25-18, seven point via. Bonnie Lee, Kevin Walsh in that pink jacket talking it all over with his guys. And at the other end, Jay Blossom trying to get his guys to figure out where they need to be and when they need to be there. And obviously a big part of their problem is their bigger defenders are all on the bench with fouls. They'll break the huddle. It'll be Daniels, Ramey, Hilton, Harris, and Bradford. For Viani, it'll be Range, who's given them good minutes these last few. And uh, Hardwick, who has just been a great quarterback for this team in this game. Cruz, Baker, and Thomas, who has the basketball right now. Guarded by Bradford. This is a good matchup. Another push off. Thomas did push a little bit. He got called for it earlier on that play. Here's a pass deflected. Harris keeps it alive. Bradford That's gets it. Foul. He got grabbed, and they're going to call intentional. it intentional. Wow. I, 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 I can see that. I'm frankly surprised they called it. But it will be a shooting foul for Bradford, and then they'll keep the basketball in range. Picks up foul number two. Clearly, Kevin Walsh did not like that call, and you can see why he doesn't like it, too, because they were both reaching for the basketball. The free throw is good by Bradford. Official saying that he grabbed his jersey, and Kevin Walsh saying no, he didn't. Bradford's next free throw is good. Big points for Webster to kind of break the lid on the rim, and now they get the basketball back as well. I can see both ways. I can see yeah. how the official really saw it that way. Can I, and, and from our vantage point, you could really see they were just really kind of tangled. I, it, it looked like he was just going for the ball. But, uh, you know, we were shielded from it just a little bit by the defender. Here's a pass deflected. Harris retrieves. Left corner, Ramey, wide open for three. Bang. That's a big Orton turn Ramey, in this game. And it's a five-point trip for Webster Grove. Back within two. Hardwick's pass is deflected into the third row by Cam Hilton. Good cornerback play yeah, there. Yeah, that's right, deflecting the pass. Knocking it out of bounds. I don't know what other sports Hardwick plays. But that football. Young, uh, does he? football, yeah. So that young man keeps his head, and he knows what's going on out there. Thomas, right corner. Cruz gives it back to Thomas. Hardwick skips it back near side. Jumper. Good. Oh, rolled out. Offensive rebound. Range and a rebounding shot blocking attempt foul. And Range will shoot some free throws. I thought they got Hilton. Instead, it's Brantford. And number two on Leland. We're tiny. <laughs> Range goes to the free throw line. 0 for 1 from the stripe this year. 25-23, Vianney by two, Vianney by three. Boy, Lewis range 
has played in six of the Viani 11 games, has a total of two points on the season. And in this game, he has five in the first half. He has really given Kevin Walsh's team a lift. Misses the second free throw, rebound Hilton, and with 67 seconds to go in the half, Webster has the ball, trailing by three. Tiny one dribble and hands it off. Ramey as they run a little weave in the man-to-man -man. floater, back rim, no tip attempt by Hilton, no good, and Cruz clears the glass. Gets it ahead for Baker, they have numbers. He penetrates, stops, and pops it home. Baker has eight, and they lead by five. Bradford wants to attack. Daniels on the left wing. With, for with the last shot here with 30 seconds. seconds. To go. Good we'll first half. Good. Uh, as slowly as this uh, got underway, what were we, five eight. to four? Yeah, I mean, it was. Uh, they've really found a little bit of flow, especially the Griffins in the second quarter. And it's a respectable 28 points they put up in the first half. Webster not far behind with 23, and they'll get the last shot. Webster going for the last shot now with six. Hilton to Daniels to Hilton with two. He'll have to fire up a long one and miss it. Boy, that didn't turn out very well at all. Halftime comes. It's 